Alhamdulillah, The month of Ramadan is a month that we train ourselves by the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he guided us to follow the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that brings so much blessings in our life and for the hereafter. One of the great things that is a job of the Muslim the job of the one that knows what's the purpose of creation. And that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. To worship Him alone, to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To know the real joy of this life and the hereafter when a person is an obedient servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We as Muslims, followers of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, knowing that there is no messenger after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is our job to convey the message of a tawheed, to convey the message of the oneness to, of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the month of Ramadan is a month of da'wah, is a month of calling others to the religion of Islam. How can we become callers for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Does it mean that every single person has to be able to give sermons and talks and invite others directly to the religion of Islam? This is of course something that is good, but it's not necessary that every Muslim will be such a person. It is enough blessings and goodness in the religion of Islam that when the person is obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he follows the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is by itself a great da'wah, a great way of calling others to the religion of Islam, whether we live among non-Muslims or Muslims. Because we need to give da'wah, we need to call others for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it's a Muslim that is a sinner, a way in state of forgetfulness, or whether it's a non-Muslim that doesn't know the beauty of worshipping none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be warners and being also someone that would give glad tidings that our job in this life is to be obedient slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if we apply the religion of Islam in its full, and submit ourselves to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this in itself brings people to the fold of Islam. This is something that the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa did. This is something that we need to do now. Guidance is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Muslim believes in the qadr, in the destiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one will be guided to the truth except if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills. And we are nothing but servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilling the orders of Allah. We can never compromise anything of the matters of our religion, thinking that when we compromise our religion, we might attract others to enter the fold of Islam. This is a misconception. Because a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is someone that submitted himself to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he was returning from a ta'if, as we know that the people there, they threw stones on the Prophet ﷺ and they rejected the truth. And while he was coming back والسلام, in a state of distress, he sat and he was eating something والسلام, and a Christian servant or a slave to a certain tribe, he came and he gave the Prophet وسلم, some food. The Prophet وسلم, before eating, he said, Bismillah. As we all know, before we eat, we say Bismillah. So this Christian slave, he said, what did you say? I've heard something that the people here do not say. The Prophet ﷺ told him. So he asked the Prophet ﷺ, who are you? The Prophet ﷺ told him, I am the messenger of Allah. And he invited him to Islam. This was a reason for this Christian slave to become a Muslim. The ulama, they say, the scholars, they say, it is the barakah, it's the blessings of the sunnah. That the Prophet ﷺ saying Bismillah before he eats, that attracts this individual. 
The same thing in the month of Ramadan. We fast throughout the day of Ramadan and people ask, what is fasting? What is Ramadan? How do you fast? How do you keep yourself without eating and drinking throughout the whole day? We need to be people that convey the message of Islam, starting with the Tawheed. Sometimes we get caught into the mentioning the information that this is better for our body. It gives us more strength and things of that nature. People need to know the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why do we fast? It's simply because the creator of the heavens and the earth, he ordered us to give us the rewards, the da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, calling others to the religion of Islam is basically calling them to the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Most of the human beings, they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believe in the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believe that he is the sustainer and the creator, but they don't worship him. They don't have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't submit themselves to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what we need to show to the people. We need to call them to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illallah. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The all-knower, the all-seer, the all-powerful subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to worship him alone. How to worship him? By following the way of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the oneness of following. We only follow the Prophet alayhi wa salatu wa salam with the saved religion of Islam. And raising ourselves and purifying ourselves with the great system of the religion of Islam. The salah, five times a day. The fasting, the month of the Ramadan, which is something that purifies the soul. And it has to have or it has to have some striving and patience because this is how the person would gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to change his life as a human being. Da'wah, calling others for the, to the religion of Islam is the job of the prophets. There is nothing more virtuous than doing something that the messengers of Allah did. And we know for sure in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that the best people are the messengers of Allah the prophets, and also those who imitate the prophets, those who their goodness is not just to their own selves, but it's conveyed to others, also they are the best people. But with the condition that we convey with knowledge. That this is my way. Say, O Muhammad, والسلام, this is my way that I follow, and those who follow me, with knowledge, with sure knowledge. And this is something that is very important because we call people to the truth and the truth speaks for itself. But we need to apply it first and to have the certainty that we are, if you are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of this blessings of being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make us reasons and means to bring others into the fold of Islam. Calling the people in our family to fast in the month of Ramadan, of course, this is the pillar of Islam. Calling them to abandon sins and to be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's something that would bring the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on us. Calling them to do the prayers in the proper way. Calling them to be righteous, good individuals. And it's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the devils are being chained in the month of Ramadan. You find people coming more into the masajid. They want to recite the Quran. We should take this opportunity changing ourselves and calling others to change through the, so that after the month of Ramadan, we are steadfast in the religion of Islam. Ramadan is a blessed month. And one of, the, one of the great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bounties is that we are still alive to witness this great month with the great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and to help us in matters of his ibadah, matters of his worship and dhikr and fasting. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala Muhammadin wa ala ahli wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahu, 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 Allah, Allahu, Allahu, Allah.